In this video, I am going to be answering some questions I was asked on YouTube um, about my Crop Hunter Breaker 22 caliber. So I was asked if I did like this gun. I do like do like it. Um, when I barely got this gun, I was getting around 36 shots with pellets at a velocity of um, 830 with 18 grain GSBs. This gun likes different pellets. It likes the Crossman Domes 10 grains, 10 grains and 22. No, that's, sorry guys, that's uh, Crossman Domes 14, 14 grains. Um, it also likes the uh, 15 grain JSBs, the 18 grain JSBs, and the Barracuda Match 21 grains. Um, I I haven't tried any other pellets, so I couldn't tell you if it likes other pellets or not. Now for the modifications I've done to my gun, one of the things that I did do is add this rail. It was from a BB gun I had. This is aluminum I think. And then I did take some, some wood from here so I could adjust my power on the spring tension. Just so I wouldn't have to be taking the stock off. That's one of the things I did to my gun. Uh, the other thing I did to my gun is. Here it has a piece of aluminum. Which connects your barrel to the shroud. I did do some stuff to it. I am going to be putting some pictures on the video. So you guys have a better idea. Of the stuff I did to it. So I do have the original barrel. In 22 caliber. From the Hudson, excuse me, guys. No, it's not the Hudson. This is a crop puncher breaker. Let's see. And this is the original barrel that came with the gun. I was asked if it was a Lothal Walther or Ceases barrel, but it's the original barrel from the gun. So now for the power modifications I've done to my gun are I did open up the, the transfer port on the valve. And I did open up the power adjuster and the barrel. So that's what I did to my gun. And I am using two springs for the slugs. Um, one of them they go one of the, one of them goes inside the other one. So I do have more tension. Um, and I did polish my hammer in the internals on here. So it's really smooth trigger. So that's all I have done to my gun. Um, I've had this gun for two years now. And it's a really good gun to... Uh, it's a really good gun overall. You could change the power settings from low power to high power. It depends what kind of shooting you want to do. Um... So yeah, I, I, I like this gun a lot. This is the first PCPRF I ever bought. So I think it's it's a really good rifle for the price you're paying for, around 500. This gun is heavy. So if you want a light gun, you might want to go with the synthetic stock. It does have a 12 round magazine on here. And yeah, that's all the stuff I've done to my gun. I did purchase a new scope for this gun. Um, it's a 4x16x42. I think it's just a mail dot. Just mail dot scope. It does have an adjustable parallax 
on here. And the turrets do uh, track pretty good. Um, and yeah, this is a really nice gun. I really do like it. I Right now, I'm only using a hand pump. So I only shoot it from 200 bar to 150. And right now with the slugs, it's giving me around 20 good shots with the slugs. I am going to get a regulator. It's on the way from from Huma. I did order a 25 caliber regulator from Huma. I think I'm going to be using 150 bar on it for the slugs. That should give me enough power. Um... And yeah, if you guys have any other questions about this gun, let me know and I'll try to answer them. Okay, now I'm going to be talking about my DC Powerline 880. Um, I did do some modifications in the inside to this to get more velocity. Um, and I am going to be making a video on how to make your uh, silencer for the DC Powerline 880. Overall, I really enjoy using this gun. I've had maybe like around seven of these guns over the years now. And whenever something happens to this gun, I'm probably gonna get a, get a new one again. Um, this gun shoots shoots pellets pretty well at 25 yards. Most of the pellets. This, if you are gonna use this gun under 25, maybe even 30, I would use wood cutters. They shoot pretty damn good out of this gun. Um, and that's be uh that's twenty five and under. I uh, I am getting a higher foot pound with this gun with the ten grain crossman domes. I think it's shooting them around seven hundred with fifteen pumps. This gun is really accurate out to fifty yards with the ten grain domes, crossmans. I'm sure there's other pellets that it will shoot better. I just don't want to want to spend um, that much money on uh, nicer quality pellets like HNN or JSBs, just because I can get the 10 grain domes at my local uh, tractor supply or DMV. And I am going to be making a video on here on making uh, the silencer. As you can see, it's kind of a, uh, it's really solid in there, so it's not going to affect your uh, point of aim. And I am going to be making a, a video on how to make some homemade baffles for your air rifle. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is putting this on a drill press and uh, making it spin. And then with the file, I'm just going to start putting pressure on this until i uh, um, this thing fits into my shroud, and I am going to be trying to make a, uh, what, like a little cone, kind of. So, stay tuned for that video. Um, and yeah, like I said, this gun is really accurate out to 50 yards with the Crossman Domes 10 grains. Um... If you're thinking about getting this gun, I would say definitely get it. Um, you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Really accurate. And yeah, that's mostly all I have to say about this gun.